You're watching WMAR 2 News. A class action lawsuit filed over unemployment benefits. Here is the deal. The Unemployed Workers Union wants to stop Governor Larry Hogan from ending federal pandemic benefits on July the 3rd. That would be two months earlier. Now, the lawsuit also seeks unemployment benefits for people who said they applied, but they never received payments. We want this court to force them to do the right thing. Stop the slashing of benefits starting on July 3rd and release the money because ultimately this is the community's money. This is the workers money. They pay in unemployment through taxes. Well, he says that the governor and the Maryland Department of Labor Secretary Tiffany Robinson are named as the defendants. The lawsuit was filed in Baltimore Circuit Court. Now, when it comes to ending extra unemployment benefits early, the governor defended his stance, citing 24 other states have also done this. And he said that businesses are reporting a shortage of workers. As far as the claims process, well, here's what his director of communications spelled out for us in an email. Let, let's read it together. It's, quote, the state continues to successfully process more than 97% of claims, even while facing an onslaught of fraudulent claims every week. And for the small fraction that are pending, state law unfortunately leaves claimants vulnerable to this, and it's in a complicated process. The General Assembly failed to address this problem during its 21 session. Well, Maryland has a new campaign now to reduce opioid overdoses and deaths. Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford announced the Maryland Stop Overdose Strategy in Baltimore County. The campaign includes $4 million in grants to local support prevention groups, enforcement and treatment initiatives. In August, state and local leaders will host town halls for people to talk about how the opioid crisis has affected them. Another day with mainly sunny skies, expecting temperatures to be a little bit warmer as we head into the day tomorrow. 66 degrees for your morning, climbing into the upper 70s through most of the afternoon with daytime highs that should crest in the low 80s for most of us. We'll hit 84 in the city, 82 in Easton, 81 out in Columbia, upper 70s in Parkton and Bel Air. Daytime highs warming as we head through the weekend, flirting with 90 on Saturday, staying mainly dry with a slight chance of showers on Sunday with temperatures climbing to the low 90s. And we're hanging out in the 90s for a large chunk of next week. 95 on Tuesday, afternoon pop up opportunities linger through the middle of next week. All right, Patrick, thank you. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.